ChatGPT is very scary. In this video, I will share my experience building my very first iOS app using a ChatGPT. Personally, I only code with two scripting languages, the LUA and the Auto It. I've always wanted to learn iOS programming language because I love to build my own iOS app to play with. Building apps on iOS always seemed so complicated to me. I have been frustrated as I didn't know where to start. But today, I was so glad and so shocked at the same time because the ChatGPT did guide me all the way to build my first iOS app. I didn't expect ChatGPT such intelligent before I tried it myself. Let me show you the whole process how I built my very first iOS app using the ChatGPT. First, I asked the ChatGPT to create a button for the iOS, so just type the create a button, Xcode. The ChatGPT give me the instruction, create a new file. I'm gonna copy the code to the Xcode to see how it executes. Open the Xcode, and then I'm gonna create new Xcode project. Application, GPT app. Right here, the interface. Because I'm really new to the iOS platform, so I have no idea what's the difference between the Swift UI and the Storyboard. And then I asked the Chat GPT to tell me the difference between the Swift UI and the Storyboard. And then it gave me the information like this: the Swift UI is the most advanced technology from Apple. The Storyboard is the old technology. Many people transit from the Storyboard to Swift UI nowadays. So I'm gonna choose the Swift UI. And click next. After learning the difference between Swift UI and the storyboard, I realized that Chat GPT only gave the code for the storyboard. That means Chat GPT only gave the codes for the old Apple language, like Objective C. I'm going to do a different thing. Okay, right here, use the Swift UI code for a button. I am going to copy the code, copy this this whole thing, copy. See. Import Swift UI right here and the left hand side content view. I'm going to get rid of this part, remove it, and then paste it. After I paste it, I'm going to play it. it. It give me this simulator, a tap me button. If you click right here, the play button, you are going to open the iOS simulator. See the simulator right here. It's just a very simple button. Besides only the the plain button. Let's get more fun to it. After the chat GPT give me the code, I'm going to continue. After tap the button once, show hi there. See if you don't specific use what language, the chat GPT only provides the old iOS language, which is the Objective C import UK. That means the storyboard technology. So I'm not gonna copy this one. You have to specific use what language using a Swift UI. Write a code for a button after I tap the button right there. I'm gonna copy the code right here. I'm going to execute again. I'm gonna remove remove this part. Remove it. Copy and paste. Okay. Let's stop it. Update it and play and play it again. Successful. Okay, this is sim simulator comes out. I'm gonna tap it. It right here. It just give me a high on the uh the compiler. But let's do more to it. Instead of just show the text high there on the compiler of my MacBook, I asked the ChatGPT to give me a code to show the text on the iPhone screen. So I'm going to ask this command. Okay, I'm gonna copy this part again. Okay, import UI. See, you have to specific what language you want to use. You have to type Swift UI. Otherwise, the ChatGPT just give me the old storyboard technology. So I have to type it again. Swift UI, hide there on the screen. Okay, copy this part. Removed it. Copy and paste. Stop it. Play. Okay, I tap it. Okay, it just give me an alert on the simulator. But what if you don't just want to 
show the alert message. You want the message to show below this button. What would you do? I ask this. Instead of show the alert, can you put the hi there below the button? Please use Swift UI. Okay, give me this code. I'm gonna copy this one. Again, gonna remove this and paste it. I'm gonna show the if gonna play this one. Summon the simulator. Okay. Tap it. Instead of the alert message, it just show the text below this button. Okay. I type this command using a Swift UI. If I tap the button once more, show the text. This is another line. Okay. I'm gonna copy this. Cool. Remove it. Paste. Tap it. I tap it once. Show hi there. Tap it once again. This is another line. Okay. So I don't want to disappear the first line. I want the first line to appear. And then I'm gonna copy this code. Stop it. Summon the, the simulator. Oh. Hehe. <laughs> this uh, this is another line. Okay, it's fun. Very fun. I give this command again. Write a code for creating a button. If I tap once, it show the height there. Copy the code. Remove it. Tab it. Tab it. The third line. I just give three lines. I give this command copy. Once, twice, third time. Okay. Oh, this is fun. I ask the Swift UI to give me a background color. Okay, copy. Fail. What happened? Oh. Okay, it fails because this is incomplete. ChatGPT sometimes just give half part of the code. You have to tell the ChatGPT to continue. Okay, I'm gonna copy this part. That's my command. I type it again. Copy. Paste. Okay. Successful. Okay, give me the background color instead of white color. Okay, tap it once. It changed color because I command the ChatGPT to change color every time I tap the button. Okay, okay. So this is my very first app. It's very fun.